Oh dear. There we go. Had some technical difficulties there. Anyway, hello. Hello. I've arrived. Anyway, so, Tales of Arise. That is tonight. I suppose we'll get right down to business. So, Tales of Arise tonight, as just stated, a little bit sleepy tonight, so this might be a bit of a short stream. Yeah, I've spoken on this before, but I recently started sleeping better, being on a more regular sleep schedule, and just, in general, providing myself with more sleep. Yeah, so that has provided me with tremendous benefits, with the singular drawback being that now I am I am no longer living in a state where I am constantly tired. So when I do get tired due to poor sleep as I had last night, then it makes a difference because I'm not always sleeping poorly. So I don't think it's genuinely affecting me more than it than it used to. I think it's I think the the entirety of the issue is just that I'm experiencing it more because I've I'm no longer used to it. Yes. So that is that. Again, might do a little bit of a short stream. I also didn't... Uh, I was originally planning on doing a little bit of level grinding off screen, and I wasn't able to find the time for that, unfortunately. So that is going to be, I imagine, the bulk of, if not the entirety of, the content of this specific stream. So, depending on how that... how long that takes, I'm... Not 100% sure what level I want to aim for. Probably low low 20s. Or currently, I think, just shy of 20. I don't know, low, low 20s might be a little bit lacking in ambition. If I'm going to try to aim for at least an hour. If we go a little bit over that, or if we go a little bit less... Well, no. If we go a little bit over that, that's fine. But I don't want to go less than an hour. So oh yes, as you may have noticed, there was no getting over it stream earlier today. So that is going to happen tomorrow, hopefully. I am planning on it being around perhaps 1 at this point, tentatively speaking. Yeah, 1 p.m. or so. so yes. So I've realized now that I said we were going to get right into business, and then I have not gotten right into business. So, I guess, I guess the tail or the getting over at stream is part of business. So, tentatively, tomorrow, 1 p.m. Central Time, the we will be doing getting over it with Bennett Foddy. But yeah, that will be that, and that will be when it is. Keep your eyes peeled on my Twitter for more information. But yes, so getting over it tomorrow afternoon, then. Tomorrow evening, Thursday evening, we should be getting back to the Valhalla collab with Chevy Sheps. Yeah, at this point, I don't anticipate any issues, but things can always can always change. Things are always more complicated when there are two people involved, of course. Two schedules to work around. But yes. So, that is tomorrow at 7, or sorry, 8.30 p.m. Central Time. I'm working late, I must remember. My employer will certainly appreciate if I remember that I'm supposed to be there late and not leave early. But yes. Then on Friday, we should be playing some more Tales of Arise at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Yeah, then I intend to make some more story progress if we do not find time to do any today. But yes. So that is the business. And now I haven't really... I've lost it somewhat, what I was talking about earlier, but let's see it. I was talking about sleep, I talked about lack of sleep, scheduling, um, oh well, I suppose we will include that for right now, as we aren't doing much game or much story progress, I don't think, I suppose we might as well save some of the chatting for the actual game itself. So indeed, let us do that. All 
And yes, we do have game audio. Good. Yeah, so I was messing around with my audio setup a little bit today. I've been messing around with my audio setup a little bit today. In particular, I've been trying to... I've been trying to diagnose... Is this... No, we need to go to Trisil... Trisilita Highway, I believe. Yes. But yeah, so I've been... In particular, I've been trying to diagnose the persistent and inexplicable uh, issues that we've been having finally made with the it. microphone. Let's see, that's... Those aren't the boars. Those are boars, but those aren't the boars. If you know, you know, as they say. Also, I should remember to use steel. Oh dear. Yes. So. Oh, right. I remember. I equipped, or I acquired a new skill for law. One that I think will make for a better, a better launcher than Dragon Shot, which I'm not too pleased with, to be honest. Cut them apart to your heart's content. Yes. Let's equip that art on law because I don't I don't like Dragon Shot very much, to be totally honest with you. Well, look ye here. Indeed. It's always exciting to get a new skill. Yes. Out of our way, so, as I was saying, <laughs> yeah, we've been trying to diagnose various audio issues that we've been having. Or more specifically, trying to diagnose the, again, the microphone issues that I've been having. This is a very, a very neat looking skill. It does still have a little bit of the issue that some of Law's skills have, in that it's very, it's kind of long-winded. Kind of long-winded. So, it's... I need to put more, I need to put more care into how I play around it, I suppose. It'll be a breeze. Get in, get out. Oops. Oh dear. So, switch back to law. There we go. Ah, I always, I always forget to start with steel. All the dance of the eagle dive is very good, though. Oh dear. Yeah, anyway. So, where was I? Yeah, microphone. I've started this this line of inquiry. This, not inquiry. Nothing is being asked. I've started on this topic, I believe, three or four times at this point. So let's actually make our, our point. So, I think that the microphone is good, basically. I think we're good. I can't say that for certain. But I think we're good. Our work is yeah, done here. it's Let's hard to right you, it's hard to tell because I've had a lot of a lot of instances before recently. I've had a lot of instances recently where I've tested the audio and it sounded fine to me, but when I've gone to other people for feedback, they've told me, "Oh, this does not sound very good. There's something something wrong with it." And yeah, I haven't been able to figure out why that is. Another thing that I've learned is that the... Oh dear. Yeah, another thing that I've learned is that, for whatever reason, the audio... Next. Yeah, the audio outputs from my laptop somewhat differently than it does from my desktop. That is to say, it sounds different. I feel like I probably could have used this on the, the end. Yes. So, the audio, my microphone outputs audio. Or, I hear. Thank you. Ooh, I'm pretty low on health. Huh? What? How do I. Oh, I have to, like, hold it after I use an R, don't I? Yes, I think so. Okay. Very good. One a quick, easy strike. resolution. Just as Very good. So, I wonder if I can aim this in such a way. Yes, very good, very good. 
Oh, steel, of course, of course. Yeah, it's interesting how Law has sort of a, a wolf motif in general, but his, his abilities seem to have sort of a, a bird motif to them for their naming scheme. Where, where are the nearest enemies? I wonder if the boost is maintained between zones. Let's see. Okay, there's enemies. We can make use of our of our boosted drops and whatnot. Yes. So I really need to learn how to stay on topic. But yes. So the microphone is. Uh, I don't think the microphone. And I guess I haven't had the opportunity to test that specifically, but I don't think the microphone specifically is working differently from one system to another. So I think it's just a matter of they are they output audio differently. So when I work on my plugins on my laptop, they I get a very different result to if I had ha was working on them on my desktop and vice versa. So that makes it hard to troubleshoot what's going on. <laughs> Am I on a roll or what? Well, look who's in a bright and shiny mood. He is on a, in a bright and shiny mood. That is unusual. You're doing very well in the combat today. I suppose that's what you get when you're not overthinking things, as is my as is my want. Uh, and you know, I want to give I'm going to give myself some credit. We've had a lot of time to to learn the ins and outs of the the combat system in this game. I think we're doing pretty well. Trying to get out of here? Well, someone seems in tip top form. Nothing new about that. I'm still as humble as ever. Yeah, Shion's even being nice to Law. Incredible. Yeah, I suppose I could probably, you know, actually use my air combo after using Swallow Dance. Oh right, I forgot that I can. I forgot that I can. Counter edge when I finish an enemy as law. Nice. Okay, so where was I? Um, microphone. Okay, yeah. So I get very different results depending on whether or not. I mean, a bit. Good. Yeah, I feel very. I get very different results depending on whether I'm on my desktop or on my laptop. But I don't. It doesn't seem like the. I don't know. I'm not a hundred percent sure that the audio is any different. That's actually being recorded. I think it's just a difference in how the the two systems output audio. Oh dear. Oh. Thank you very much. Very good, very good. I'm sorry to be a bother. All right. Practically unstoppable. <laughs> I'm sorry to be a bother, he says. <laughs> Not five seconds later, I'm practically unstoppable. <laughs> I suppose I suppose people are like that sometimes. Yeah, that enemy being on the ground is hard to air combo, so let's just not. Basically. Say no more. Yes. So anyway, I did a lot of work we want yesterday. That by a mile. In addition to all the other work that I've been putting in over these past few days, and I've gotten the microphone to a point where I think the bulk of the issues are solved. Basically, I think we're fine. Not bad. Not bad. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. So do I have hmm. it? Hmm. I'm not sure if I have if I have steel active. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Very good, very good. Nice. Very good, very good. 
Oh, there's still one up. Okay. Yeah, I was sort of thinking for a little while that those, that those uh, cool combo cool moves. I've forgotten what they're called. I won't rest until I'm the best I can be. Yeah, I was still thinking that they may be. The you simply can't be too strong when battle is a I was thinking that day. maybe they hit all enemies on the field because sometimes I would use them on an enemy when there were other enemies still alive, and the battle would simply end. But I think probably it's just that they have an AOE on them. I think Hoodle senses something. Oh, have you not? Hmm. I'm sure we've been here before, so I'm surprised that we don't have a whatever owl was here. This isn't a very big area, I don't think. Very nice. Very good. Yeah, Elfin is pretty low on health, and I just realized we are we are out of cure points, so I should be perhaps a little bit more careful. Very good. And also, I guess I I wanted to test whether or not the boost would carry over. It did. Okay, cool. Don't forget to heal your wounds. Yeah, we should. Oh, something. I didn't see. The prompt wasn't on screen long enough for me to tell what it said, but something happened with our livestock. Hopefully, that's something good has happened with our livestock. This is... no. Ranch. There we are. But yes. Microphone. Okay, I guess that's all I really need to say about micro the microphone. <sighs> We finally made it. Alright, so fast traveling does seem to deprive us of that bonus. So we have to travel manually to anywhere that we want to go if we want to keep it up. Key to raising an animal to be happy and healthy is to give them lots of love. They'll always respond well to kindness. Animals are sensitive to changes in their environment, so make sure to look after them good so they don't get scared. Ah, okay, so our chickens have reached maturity. And we have acquired chicken. Fair enough. Oops. Okay, so it seems to be more or less on a one-to-one -one basis. Okay, you get you get one chicken and you get one chicken. So with that in mind, let's try let's try the boosted feed because I don't believe that we did that last time. Yes. I was a little bit surprised at first. Pardon. I was a little bit surprised at first that the chickens were the were matured, but the rest of the animals weren't. But I suppose it makes sense. Chickens do, I think, grow faster than cows and pigs. If for no other reason than because they have a smaller final uh, size. We finally made it. Let's take this opportunity to rest. I don't know how well fed we are right now. This realm doesn't seem like such a bad place to camp in. Yeah, it is pretty there's nice. lots of plants and wildlife here. I know, and it all looks freaking delicious too. Who said anything about eating them? Oh, for once, Xion is not the most enthusiastic about eating. Yeah. Let's. Uh, I don't feel the need to cook right now. Let's talk to Law. Join you, Law. I think we've seen Xion and Rinwell scenes already. Assuming that each character only has one, which I don't know for certain. See you guys tomorrow. Indeed. I feel All pretty right. refreshed after that sleep. So there's probably an ideal route to take to grind these enemies. But honestly, I don't. I don't care very much. I don't feel the need to optimize in that way. So I think I'll just start more or less where I did start and just keep going from there. So I do want to keep in mind right, the shell shockers are not following us. I was worried that they were. For a little bit. Yeah, I'll start roughly where. Actually, no enemies don't show up on the map. No, they only show up on the mini map. I think no. I was thinking that these maybe indicated enemy spawn locations, but it seems like that is not the case.
render distance is decent enough that we can see a fair few enemies. If not all of them. Hi, hmm. I feel like there was another point that I was going to make. Oh well, I've lost it now, unfortunately. Hmm. Okay, no, I've got, I've got the icon that I think corresponds to the, the steel buff. All right, all right. Okay, there we go. That's a good, that's a good combo. Very good. And start running. <laughs> I look pretty flashy out there. So glad it met with your approval. And of course, as always, we will not bother those boars up there. This this world this world is theirs and we are living. Again, if you if you know, you know. Very good. Say no more. Given that the as we established, these different moves do have AoEs, specific AoEs, and not just, do not simply get every enemy. I wonder if there might be some sort of logic behind what ones are best in what circumstances. It definitely seems like some of them have elements attached to them. Yeah. Yeah, for instance, that one, I believe it looked like it did light, it looked like lightning, and thus light, uh, light aspected damage, or light elemental damage. Hmm. There's some issues in the audio setup right now. That shouldn't, shouldn't be audible. Shouldn't be audible, but in case it is, uh, my apologies. These little ones are hardly worth our time. Yeah, so I suppose on other stream related topics, today I I did have to uh Yeah, the reason Well I guess, you know, I never committed to one day or the other. But the reason a reason why I didn't uh actually, well I guess now that I think about it, with the the schedule that I put before myself, I wouldn't have had time to. But you know. Anyway. All of this is to say, uh, I spent a lot of today working on the VOD from, from uh, yesterday, the Splatoon 3 VOD. Yeah, it needed a little bit more, a little bit more work than the average VOD. Just a few, a few, a few touches. Plus I wanted to examine it a little bit more closely than I might otherwise to determine, you know, what, what is going on with my microphone. See where the, any, if I could diagnose any issues from listening a little bit closer. So yeah. So that... Oops. Fair enough. Didn't mean, to, didn't mean to steal the magic out of this war that is uh, presumably incapable of casting any, but... I think I'm getting stronger. Oh yeah? Think you could beat me at arm wrestling? When have I not beaten you? Right. <laughs> I'll just go on ahead then. Fun little moment there. I'm surrounded. You very much are not, but oh well. Oh dear. I wonder. I can't. I don't think I can cancel any of uh, Law's arts with dodging, which is one of the one of the. Again, I sort of have various gripes with the... Okay, no, I can't... None of these enemies are... Or, rather, Rinwell is not ready to steal the magic from any of these enemies, even though they have it. But yeah, so once once you use an art with Law, it's, it's, it's generally pretty committal. You don't get the opportunity to... I suppose you can't. That's not unique to Law. It's not like he's the only one who can't cancel his arts with a dodge. But it, I feel it most keenly with Law. I feel it most keenly with Law because I, yeah, because I, he has particularly long move animations. Yeah. 
I think really long move animations, but I don't know. I don't. I was gonna say that they have a, per, have a particularly large amount of end lag after them, but I don't know that that's true. It might just be. I think that's probably just Talon Storm. Alright, and that four goes down. But yeah, so I worked on the. I was working on yesterday's pod today, and I. Yeah, I ended up having getting called into work earlier than I was expecting today. So I wasn't able to get that finished. No complaints here. It should still be up at the usual time tomorrow. Like I do all that really needs to be done at this point is is to render it. I simply didn't have enough time for that. But yeah. So the the bulk of the work on that is done. It just needs to be rendered and then uploaded. Which again should all happen within the usual time. Not bad, not bad. We managed to pull through. But yes. So, Odd has been worked on, is looking fine, basically. Let's see, what else did they say? Uh, well, for one thing, I should do the thing that I keep saying that I'm going to do and keep not doing. Well, you are the furthest away from the, the massive boars, I must say. Really handy and yeah. I'm interested in giving Shion another chance. Early on, I sort of decided that she was a character that I wasn't particularly interested in playing because I, you know, I didn't. I don't know. I didn't have the ability to. Uh, yeah, I don't know. You can't really combo with Shion the same way you can with other the melee characters, and even to a certain extent, Rinwell. Ooh, also, this is a, a great opportunity. Alright, I had like 1,383 health, I believe, before using this art. And I have the same amount now, so yes. So your... That ability does not deal damage to you, even though it is a... It uses the Blazing Sword. Which is very good, because I was a little bit worried about the AI using that move. Yeah, using that move well, look who's in automatically and, shiny move. and dealing damage to itself. The yeah, it does still certainly have access to moves that it can deal damage to itself with. But at least I don't have to worry about that particular ability doing it. Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? I think this, oh no. Go no okay, so dropping, or yeah, ending a battle with a particular character doesn't necessarily mean that you'll start the next battle controlling that same character. Alright, let's get back onto the enemy that we were focusing on. Alright. Ah. Yeah, I need to aim a little bit better, I think. Aiming better is always, always beneficial, I suppose, but... Yeah, Swallow Dive... Swallow Dive is, is an interesting move. It definitely feels... It feels strange. It feels strange to use. Yeah, it doesn't... It doesn't track as well, like, on its own, as other... It doesn't track on its own as well as other similar moves do. Oh dear. I sort of anticipated that going off and I started using started using a move before I started using a move before I could make that, that happen. Very nice. Getting a lot of these today. I've used a bit too much healing. We're a little bit low on care points, but we're not doing too bad. Let's see, any more? There we are. These enemies seem to be emitting some sort of particle effect. That seems unusual. I guess they're pretty magical. They're pretty magical creatures, so maybe they just maybe that's just what they do. Can you take care of them? Well, quit staring and concentrate on the fight. Very 
Ooh, I'm gonna stare as much as she did on this. So, did you like my boost art? Yeah, another very yeah, clean fight. It was off the charts. Now we are going to run out of the buff, uh, but I do want to find that owl. Yeah, so we got a response. Oh, there we go. Oh, hi. I think you've been here for a while, but I didn't have enough cure points for you last time, so my apologies for leaving you here. Oh, you saved me. Thank you. When those oogles started chasing me around, I was sure I was done for. Tomatoes? Nice. Not a big fan of tomatoes myself, I must admit. Ah, there you are. Ooh, 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 indeed. Eagle glasses. Glasses that make the wearer smile when worn. Not recommended for use during serious conversations. Hmm. Do they have some sort of design on them? Or something? Or like something that covers the face that such that they literally make the, the wearer smile? Or are they just silly? Ah, they're just silly. Fair enough. Yeah. It took a moment to... Oh, okay. Yeah, it does seem that the livestock matures in real time, rather than... It doesn't seem like it's based on battles, because that was a fair, fair amount out from the most recent battle. So I suppose if my logic is correct, that is probably, probably the pigs that just reach maturity. Though, given that the... Oops, no, there we go. Given that the chickens reached maturity very quickly, and I just, you know, started raising a second batch of chickens that have a, with a uh, feed that specifically boosts their, the rate at which they grow. Yeah, given that. Oh, nope. Yep, that's the pigs. That is the singular pig. Oop, no, pig. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know how much we want to spend on them. I don't know that we have any re recipes that require pork or beef or chicken at this point. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any way to know for sure how long the creatures will take to mature. these fellas. Delightful. Well, back to the field of battle. See, okay, Tidehall Plain. Yeah, Tidehall Plain is just is where we just were. That is the that sub area. Oh, not Overseer Hill. There we are. So, yeah. So, oh yeah, another thing. Finally. If only we could have flown with... And yes, actually, real quick, we'll take a look at the, the recipes. This realm doesn't seem like such a... Yes. So, wheat, wheat apple, lettuce, tomato, apple, tomato, potato, potato, mushroom, potato, milk, salmon, scrap meat. Um... Yeah, no, no beef or chicken or anything, as far as I see. Hmm. I wonder. Yeah, is that our only attack up? I guess we have elemental attack up as well. Part of me doesn't want to... Hmm. It also uses a lot of pepper, which we don't have. It uses up most of our pepper, in fact. Well, I'm sure it's not too difficult to acquire more. This is perfect! I'll have everybody's mouths watering when they see this! Mm -hmm. So this is three minutes. That's a duration sure. of three minutes. Can we talk a moment? So I, part of me wonders if that's three actual minutes. Oh, there, wait, hold on. I think this is a different scene than what we saw last time. I think it's time we go to sleep. Yes. 
yeah, I think this is this this is different. So presumably each character does have multiple scenes. Oh, there we go. Alright, cool. Law has done all of the cooking he needed to do. I was unaware that I needed to do any cooking with Law, but we we did. Success. Skill. Recover. When sent flying, press R2 to recover and land without being down. Growing boy. A young man can't fight on an empty stomach, and Law is no exception. At his age, the more he eats, the more muscle he builds up. That must have been how Zephyr did it. Yes, counterattack damage, near death attack, elemental attack, boost strike damage. We're actually probably doing pretty well for skill points, aren't we? Yeah. Let's see, that is leg strikes. We haven't been doing a whole lot of those, but I don't I don't think we got leg strikes until pretty recently. Yeah, we got. Yeah, we just learned swallow. I was gonna say swallow dive, but that's not it. In fact, I don't think Swallow is in the name. I think Swallow Dive is just the move that we already had, which, actually, now that I think about it, was a leg strike. Oh well. But yes, Awakening Chain bonus. When you win a battle while in an awakened state. Combat points. Oh, right. So, combat points. Yeah, combat points is the mechanic for the little boost that we get at the end of the battle, going into the next battle, so on and so forth until we get increased chances at drops and whatnot. Boost gauge for enemy downs. Hit our evasion. Hearts gauge. Hmm. Let's, let's see, that's attack. Penetration. Penetration is probably good on law, now that we know what it does. But yeah, increased crit chance, given his, the, the rate at which he attacks. Hearts Gauge Restored from Critical Hit. Mm -mm. Adds an additional awakening step if the requirements for awakening are met a second time. It raises attack and elemental attack even further. You know what? Why not? Again, we are replete with skill points. So we might as well Eagle Dive. There we go. That's what it is. Okay. For one snap. Pulls enemies closer. I feel like uh, a frequent issue is the fact that enemies tend to be pretty far away from us. So that could be that could be nice to have. Yeah, this gives elemental attack. Again, I suppose I don't need to invest too heavily in any of these. I do want the extra attack, so I think we'll get these. Alright, we don't quite have enough for our gauge on enemy defeat, but we should get it pretty quickly here, I imagine. Defense. We this isn't yeah, this isn't full yet. Charged arts. Alright, alright. Why not? We like charged arts. Yeah, owls met. A lot of owls. A lot of owls need to be met. I wonder what, what percentage of owls we're at at this point. I mean we're only two and a half realms into the world. So presumably at best, we're probably 50%, but we could very... Well, actually, no. We're definitely not. Well, I mean, we could be. But I don't have all the owls from Calaglia, if I remember correctly. I, we do have all the ones from Cislodia, which I was surprised at. Owl Astral Energy. The power of the owls flows through Rinwell, granting her strength. You know what, we're... we like owls. Hearts Gauge. I really am just... Just spending... Just spending because I can, basically, at this point. But... Mm, I don't know, I'm not too concerned with optimizing. I just like to I just like to see numbers get bigger basically. Yes, what else do we want? PD chef. Um let's see. Actually we can get one or two more things on Rin or or Xion. Red. Hmm. I don't know that we need that. 
Hit air damage. Is that? Yeah. Okay. Applies to floating enemies. So that's probably pretty good. Chion is, in theory, the person to deal with flying enemies. So. Let's see. What do we want on you? I definitely feel like... I guess Alfin was... Alfin and Chion were the first characters we got titles for. So they definitely... I definitely didn't know about the... <clears throat> uh, the completion bonuses back then. I know that for certain. Hmm. I'm kind of... Again, I'm, I worry a little bit about giving the AI moves that they can use that deal damage to themselves. Because I feel... I worry that they will use them recklessly. But honestly, I probably wouldn't use them any less recklessly if I were if I were playing, so... Maybe I shouldn't be too concerned. Yeah. Again, there's nothing I really want. So I'm gonna... I'm content with just going for completion bonuses right now. My only... My only reluctance is I sort of am sticking... Sticking away from getting art, because I do want to. Morning. Ready to head out? I want to prioritize leveling up the arts that I already have over getting new arts. Yeah, what are we doing for levels? Oh, okay, so we're all. Other than Rinwell. It's interesting that Rinwell's level is below everyone else's by a not insignificant margin. I wonder why that would be. I don't know, maybe I just happened to be at a bit of an unusual level when I met her or something. Yes, also, I'm going to take a sip real quick. Sip. So yeah, for whatever reason, I've also definitely gotten into the habit of sipping less frequently, but taking bigger sips when I do. Which is not necessarily something that I feel like I want to do. Alright, so you definitely you did attract that boar. So I'll give you I'll give you that this time. Yes. So where was I? Oh yeah, six. So I've been yeah you know, drinking drinking more at once but less frequently. Which is probably, I think, less optimal. Yeah, less optimal. It means I have to spend more time Nicely with done. a drier throat, and also, uh, it also means that I that I choke on my water a lot, unfortunately. All right, steal that power. Thank you. Ah, right. I, since I changed target, I changed target. They, yeah, law also turned around. Once again, I forgot to use steel. Right yeah. So, where was I? Oh dear. Hmm. No, I lost it. I think. I'm ready for the next battle. Oh well. Yeah, I'm pretty. It just occurred to me that I should be careful to make sure that I have item use turned off for my. AI allies, but I think that's I think that's true. Healing items are not terribly difficult to come by, I don't think. Anyway. Or, which is to say that they can be purchased, unlike other types of items. Yeah, the swords don't sell very much good stuff. I suppose it is typically typically the norm in a JRPG such as this that shops sort of become better as you get further along in the game. You gain access to stores that sell better items, or all, or perhaps all stores start selling better items with you. Steal that magic, thank you. Steal. So yes. So it tends, it tends to be the case that stores later on in the game 
are better than those early on in the game. Either because the swords themselves are better, the new swords that you acquire access to, or the swords just become better over time. But, well, I guess I haven't been paying that close of attention, but I, I don't feel like... I don't feel like the stores have really been improving in any significant way. I think I'm getting stronger. I certainly hope so. You just leveled up. Get lost. I never miss. Very nice, very nice. I did forget about steel again. So let's not forget about steel again. Very good. And that is both of them. Very nice. Certainly not bad. No complaints here. I'm glad we're all on the same Go no further. Hmm. Probably I should have saved that. I do want to aim for... I want to aim for using steel, like I said I was going to. But moreover, I want to aim for not getting knocked into the air by the boars. But moreover, I want to aim for not that happening. But yes. Moreover, I want to aim for using... Yeah, breaking enemies with my boost ability. Boost ability on Law. So as to unlock additional titles for him. Or an additional title, I suppose. Yeah, we are getting a little bit a little bit close to Yeah, a little bit close to the the end of the my promised time today. Can I not change target? Interesting. Why is that? Hmm. There is no obvious reason, unfortunately, but oh well. Oh. I forgot that the, the boost break, or the boost... I don't think the boost, the move is called the boost break. I think the boost break is what happens when an enemy gets knocked down by a boost. Burn strike does look very cool. Okay, so that enemy definitely was... Obviously outside of the area of Burn Strike. So that least lends some credence in my mind to the theory that maybe certain moves have more optimal AoEs. I said before that I'm not aiming to optimize. And that is true. But I am definitely the sort of person who does not shy away from attempting to optimize. But yeah, I don't feel like it would be terribly productive here, though. That's the sort of thing that you, I think, in this case, would care about in perhaps a speedrun or something. Not really in a casual playthrough, even if I have been having some difficulties. Even if I've been having some difficulties in a lot of recent battles. Am I on a roll or what? Alright, so now... Oh, look who's in a bright and shiny mood. I wonder if I can carry this buff all the way over to the Shell Shockers. I could have just fought the those boars there to extend it. And maybe I should have, because I think I'm going to lose it by the time I get over to the Shell Shockers, but maybe not. Oh no, we've definitely lost it. Oh, well... The blueness wasn't completely gone. Oh, oops. Well, yeah, it's just... So wild, I suppose. <laughs> Alright. Something happened. Something happened for sure. So yeah, pressing, pressing too many buttons too quickly, unfortunately, and giving myself mm, suboptimal results as a result. Results as a result. Ah, uh, no. That looks like, yeah. Yeah, that was a reset. Unfortunate. What are we doing for health? Pretty good, actually. I suppose being stronger, a little bit more experienced as in in real life as well as the game. Yeah, contributed to that somewhat. I already got all these. Anything else? That. Hmm. I feel like I've looked at this item before, but I wasn't super pleased with it last time. Hold on, have we... No, wait, hold on. Oh, right. Okay, so I'm remembering now. 
For a second there, I, or for a while there, I was thinking that the reason why I didn't bother with shops very much is because they didn't sell anything that was good. But I realize now, they do sell good things, it's just that the good things that they sell are expensive. Hmm. Yeah, so we've got like 23 clan pentacles. And that is not enough to purchase even even a single even a single peach gel. Or orange shell. Which is yeah, the peach shell is a healing item. The orange shell is the cure point item, I do believe. We've got a lot of mega cores. We might want those, so I don't think I'm going to use them right away. Let's see. Flare Claw requires Titanium Van Braces. Van Brace, that's a type of armor, I think. That seems like the sort of thing that might drop from a Renin, perhaps. Hmm. Astral Mass. Yeah, I know a lot of these, or some of these, I was a little bit worried, or not worried, but I, I recognize that I by crafting some of these items, I was using kind of resources that I could use to craft the more powerful variant. But it does seem that a lot of these items, a lot of these require things that we seemingly cannot acquire, or at least have not acquired yet. We perhaps aren't fighting the right enemies at this point. Yeah, as for the materials that we, that we do have, we have a lot of them now. I suppose maybe I shouldn't be so cautious. Orange, yeah, orange shells are the cure point item. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so bizarre. I don't know that we use bizarre mega cores for anything. We might. They might be an item for perhaps accessory making. Speaking of which, actually, oops, not forge weapon. Great accessory. Can we make any accessories that are particularly good? I guess, now that I think about it, I don't know what our accessories... Movement speed in battle. Hmm. That could be nice. But anyway. Penetration. Okay, we know. I remember. Yeah, we know what that is now. So I know how much to value... Or... I have an idea of how much to value that, I suppose. Saying that I know is... Oh, hold on. Manage ranch. I always love the sound of hammers banging away. Nice. Yeah, so at this point, as I was saying earlier, oops, chicken. Since I don't have any use for the livestock products at this point, I think I'm just going to raise them slowly. Again, I have no no real no need to raise them quickly, so we're just going to raise them slowly. Yes. So that, yeah, that is Venus Roar is a downgrade from what we already have. Winged Gauntlets, likewise. Got balanced Living. Okay, so we've gotten rid of everything that we don't have an immediate use for. Yeah, even even equipment items don't aren't very cost effective, I don't think. I do hmm. I wonder if crafting an item because yeah, that's or I'm gonna do some math here real quick. Wrong computer. Alright, open up notepad. So this requires four keen gigafangs. We'll just say KG. One clam tentacle, CT, and one granite fang, GF. So let's see what those items are worth. Oops. Yeah, so they would be under materials, actually, yeah. So, King Gigafang. King Gigafang is worth 90. So 90 times 4 is would be 360. 
this. And then clam tentacles are 100 each. And then a, what was it? Yeah, granite bang is also 90. So all told, that is 550. Yeah, selling those individually would be 550 gold. Whereas I think the sale price seems to be exactly half of the buying price. Oops. All right, go to the forge menu. I guess it might not be exactly the same. So yes, we will craft another thunder nail. Because yeah, actually, hold on. All right? No, no. Yeah. Because yeah, if the thunder nail sells for exactly half of what it costs to make, that would bring us to 760, which is more than each of those sell for individually. But it looks like the Thunder Nail doesn't sell for exactly half of what it costs to make. It in fact sells for significantly more than that. So, <laughs> All right, we found the strategy, everybody. I found how I'm going to make money. So we need to... Well, actually... Oh, hold on. I just... I just realized. Hold on. <laughs> it doesn't matter that it costs... That it costs... That it sells for more than half of what it costs to make because it sells for less than what it costs to make. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that was useless. <laughs> Pardon. I got myself all worked up there and for nothing. So yes, anyway. If nothing else, this is only one point of data, so it, I can't say that it's necessarily indicative of all cases, but in at least one case, in at least one case, and given that the economy of weapons and items and such seems to be pretty consistent. I'm going to assume that it will remain consistent. Yeah, in this one case at least, selling the items separately provides us with more than crafting them and then selling them. Because yeah, I sort of... I sort of uh, failed to take into consideration the fact that I needed to pay to craft wet weapons and that they weren't yeah, that they didn't just... Yeah, that I didn't just make them when I had the resources. But yes, so, in short... In short... I suppose I can just start selling things. Sell things, and then I'll have money for consumables, I guess. Yeah, the farmable items some exceptions obviously seem to be seem to sell pretty pretty low or i guess sort of the less so farmable items and more so items that can't be yeah items that can't be or that aren't gotten through fighting things sell for pretty low prices Honestly, I don't know if we need sharp fangs for anything. We do need keen giga fangs, I think, for a few things. And bizarre, honestly, I don't feel like, well, we probably don't need this many bizarre mega cores, so we can probably safely sell them. Okay, we can't. Hold on. Is this okay so I guess this must be I was thinking when I pressed the triangle button what it was saying there in this case price would be it would take me to a page that is sorted by that but the instead the triangle button icon seems to indicate what the what the page is currently sorted by does he have price yeah, it goes pretty cleanly from most to least expensive. All right. Well, we learned, I suppose. 
much has been gained here in the way of knowledge. Hmm. Accessory materials aren't worth a whole lot, huh? Oh well. So anyway. So now that we've gotten an insight into the terrible state of the Danon economy, and now that we've done a lot of fighting, I think we're going to call it a day for today. Again, a little bit of a short stream, but I feel like I can use the rest tonight. But yeah, today, today was a bit of a challenge in terms of keeping a reasonable amount of energy to complete the tasks that were set ahead of me. So here's hoping that tomorrow will be less so. But yes, so we have reached the end of yet another stream. And so, as always, we'll look for a raid target. Oh yeah, another thing, sort of on the topic of finishing streams, I suppose, is that I'm working on I'm working on a end of end of stream screen that I intend to use. So, yeah, currently the state of things is that I yeah, currently the state of things is that you know, I will set up a raid and sometimes I'll do that before I start talking about the schedule, sometimes I'll do that after. And usually I I ideally I should do it after so that I have time to actually talk about the schedule and don't have to rush through it. But Anyway, I'm going to, with this end screen, ideally, I hope to sidestep that issue entirely <clears throat> and just have the raid countdown go while the end screen is up. Instead of having to rush through everything, I can take my time with everything and then do that, basically. So anyway, all of this is to say, if you have any raid suggestions, I would be glad to hear them. I don't know if I already said that, so I'm going to give a little bit of an opportunity for anyone to chime in if there's anyone who would like to. That's it. But yes, none today it looks like, so I think we're going to go and drop by Sheppy Sheps tonight. I won't get the raid started right away, like I said, so that I have time to go over the schedule and so that I have time for the ads and all that to play out the, the channel to load and whatnot. So, schedule. Today has been Tales of Arise and a little bit of a short stream. I may or may not, may or may not take some time to uh, do a little bit more level grinding off stream to get, to get more ready. Um, cause yeah, I definitely don't want to, do, to continue doing that, uh, next time. I do want to get on with the story next time. But yes. So that is that, I suppose, that matter. Once again, tomorrow around, yes, yeah, if I, since I'm working, uh, a long shift on, since I'm working a long shift on Friday, yeah, I won't have time to, I won't have time to level grind Friday, and if I'm playing getting over it with Bennett Potty tomorrow. I won't have time tomorrow either. I guess we'll just sort of continue with what we've got. Level 20 is not a bad level to be, I don't think. Certainly. But yes. Anyway, hold on. Where was I? Oh, right. So, today has been Tales of Arise. Thank you for being here. Tomorrow, we'll be getting over it first in the afternoon. Then afterwards, after I've gone to work, then we will be continuing the Valhalla collab with Chevy Sheps. And that that will be that. Then on Friday, we will be doing some more Tales of Arise. And I believe that should be everything that needs to be said, other than times, you know. So, Thursday, currently the time for getting over it with Bennett Foddy is tentatively approximately 1, 1 p.m. We'll see. It's, it's a weird, it's weird. Finding, yeah, finding time during the day to stream is going to feel weird. So I, yeah, I'm going to do my best to make sure that I remember to do that and that it will be, that I plan my day around it. But there's always a chance that something, 
that I will fail to pay attention and maybe miss the timing. <laughs> but yes. So that will be Thursday. Or wait, hold on. 8.30 p.m. Central Time for the Valhalla stream. No matter what happens, that's going to happen. Unless, you know, something comes up. But, but yeah, if, if nothing else, that should be consistent. And then on Friday, 7.30 p.m. Central Time, more Tales of Arise. And so that should be everything that needs to be said. So, Stephanie Sheps, once again, she is going to be our collab partner tomorrow, and she is our raid target tonight. Yeah, good friend of ours, good friend of the stream. Yeah, Explosion VTuber, currently playing Cult of the Lamb. Yeah, so well, that is that, I suppose. So it's time for the customary raid message of We Have Arrived. Oops. Almost misspelled that. That would have been very silly of me. Oh no, I didn't misspell it. Let me retype that before I send it. There we go. Dodge one typo by stumbling directly into another one. Tactically thinking. But yes. So, thank you all for being here tonight. I hope you have had a fine night. I hope that you will continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you'll be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much, and farewell. Let's get this raid underway.